okay. Morning, how are you? Uh, how do I pronounce your name? Yeah? Uh, good morning, doctor. Yeah. My name is Lakeshna. You can call me Lakesh. Lakesh, yeah? Okay, Lakesh. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, for this semester, okay, okay, I'll be teaching you two courses. Lah. Okay, mm -hmm. the first session in the morning is uh, System Analysis and Design, CD. And the uh, evening classes will be the Islamic Development. Lah. Okay, uh, Islamic Worldwide and IT and Society. So, the morning part will be System Development Methodology. And the evening part will be Islamic Overview. Uh, ah, yes. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so, Lakesh. Uh, before we start, uh, are you the only one in your bed? How, how do you, uh, in your, what semester are you in uh, at the moment? Uh, for now, I'm in semester two. And yes, I'm the only one for online distance learning. Okay, okay. So last semester, how many subjects, how many codes did you take? Uh, I took five subjects. And the five subjects also, I'm alone only. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, okay, five, five subjects. So all five exams, uh, for all five final exams? Uh, only four subjects got final exam. One subject uh, don't have a final exam. I see, I see. Okay, good. Uh, okay, Lakesh, can you tell me, uh, can you on your camera? I just want to see and then you can off later on. Okay, okay, sure, Dr. Shreya. Oh, okay. So, Lakesh, uh, can you just uh, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, where you're working, and uh, uh, just a short introduction? Uh, sorry, again, Dr. No, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, introduce yourself, uh, uh -huh. where you're from, where you're working, uh -huh. and why do you do this master's course? Okay. Uh, uh -huh. okay yes, Dr. No, my name is Lakishna Subramaniam. I'm actually from Pera. Uh, before this, I did my Bachelor of Computer Science in the Unisi Sutta al uh, So now, currently, I'm working as a software engineer at the KL right now, at PJ. So why I did this master is actually because I love to, uh, how to say, it's actually want to improve myself in my uh, education-wise, not only in my career-wise. So I believe that I'm doing master will help me to further in my career. So that's why I took online distance learning uh, because uh, another thing is I thought like online distance learning is very convenient for me because I don't have to go for uh, physical classes and then I just can uh, manage like I managed to finish my first semester easily because I don't have to go class. Uh, it's, con con it's considered a very convenient for me. I so yeah, I proceed with this master. Okay, so your first degree was in uh, USAS as well? Yes. Oh, and you did Bachelor in Computer Science? Yes, correct. It's a degree, you did Diploma and then degree or what? How do you do it? Ah, yes, I did Diploma. Uh, I did Diploma in Database Management System and Web Application at Johor. Then uh, continue my degree in Bachelor uh, in USAS. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And which part of Perak are you from? Uh, Taiping Perak. My hometown is Taiping Perak, but currently my family all are at Telo Intan. Oh, I see. Okay, so now you are a software engineer? Yes. How long have you been working as a software uh, engineer? It has been one year plus. I joined 2019 December, so yeah, more than one year. Oh, just just during the pandemic time? Lah. Uh, yes, because uh, I finished my degree exactly on October 2019. So in the meantime, I just find any job that suit me. And luckily I got, so I go for it. Okay. Before graduation, I joined work already. Oh, good, good, good. And then mm -hmm. uh, your work is also work from home or you go to office? Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Okay. I already start going to office. Before this, yes, we are working from home, but now we are go back to office already. So uh, you are a software engineer. So most of your uh, job is what? Developing software? What kind of software do you develop? Or okay. how? Uh, my my job is more mostly uh, developing a uh, bank system. So I will be a part of that bank system. So normally my task will be uh, creating the use cases. I will working on backhand and fronthand. Oh, I, back see. Front -hand. I yes. see. Okay. And your office is in? Where's your office? Uh, sorry? Again? Where's your uh, office? Your main office? Uh, my main office exactly at near the Sunway. My office name is Infopro Sudan Berhad. Info? 
Info Pro, Sedem. Info Pro, okay. Info Pro, and your office is in Sunway. Okay, okay. So you have been experienced. Uh, your background is all IT, computer science. Yes. And you're working as a software engineer for almost about uh, well, I think coming to one year plus lah. Yes. One year, one year mm -hmm. plus. So I see no issues in your. I uh, mean, you you will be easily understand. I mean, you will. I hope that you easily understand the subject because since it's just an advanced level from uh, what you have been learning so far. Okay. Yes. So uh, so you have been in USA for three years. Uh, sorry, three years. Yeah, almost three years. And then, uh, and then now you're doing a master's, so it's easier for you with the online learning. So, and, and, and then, yeah, since online learning, now you're just at home. First right. thing, let me check uh, the internet connection. Can you all, uh, can you hear me? Yes, can. Yeah? Okay. Of course, this is my first time using Webex as well. Normally, I use uh, Google Meet, but I found out that Google Meet, uh, the record function cannot be done anymore. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, so today morning, I was trying to do WebEx. Uh, actually, I wanted to do Microsoft Teams, but I, I, I couldn't do it. Uh, I mean, I couldn't uh, figure out how to do it. So okay. we use Web, WebEx. Uh, are you okay with WebEx? Yes, yes. No problem. No problem. Eh? Okay. So uh, two courses I'll be teaching. Okay. I'm a part-time lecturer with USAS. I've been with uh, USAS for almost, uh, this is my second semester. Uh, previously, I taught uh, knowledge management. Okay. Knowledge management with USAS. And uh, now I'm teaching two, two codes lah, this semester. I'm with the, uh, can, you can see the logo behind that, I'm with UITM. Sorry, that's UTM, okay? A wrong logo. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm with UITM, uh, UITM Perak. My campus is in Tapa actually. So I'm a computer science lecturer and uh, I'm staying in Ipoh. Uh, yep, I've been with UITM for almost uh, 13 plus, sorry, almost uh, 16 plus years. Okay, so I'm with there. And uh, yeah, so that's where I've been, and I've been, uh, and then this semester I'm doing some part times with uh, USAS because one thing is nearby, and since it's online, so it's okay, lah. Uh, no problem, no traveling involved. All right, so uh, our class is going to run for uh, 14 weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 14 weeks. So, in between, we, if I'm not mistaken, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> okay, can you see the slide? Yes. Okay, so, uh, okay, we are here. Oh, this one is wrong. Okay, so we are supposed to start last week. Okay, so it's okay. So we bring it forward to this week. Okay, so uh, I think you, have, you might have seen this timetable. All right. Yes. So yes. Uh, what we do is we are going to meet one, two, three, four, three four, four times. Four times, huh? Four times, yeah. Uh, meaning, uh, first week, fifth week, third week. I mean, sorry, the eighth week, and one, two, three, and four. Yeah, four times. Okay, four times we are going to meet. Uh, each time this is the suggested hours, lah. But normally, mm -hmm. I'll try to keep it, I mean, at most two hours, just before three hours. Lah. I don't think you can okay. go on for three hours until you're opening, eyes opening. <laughs> okay, okay. So, in between these classes, mm -hmm. when you go for asynchronous, okay. uh, I will give you some case study and assignments. Lah. Yes, okay. okay. So, uh, we will try to cover, because the chapters are quite long, okay. and uh, we will try to cover as much as we can within the one, two hours. Like okay. today, if I'm not mistaken, I, I saw the chapters today. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can cover everything, uh, two chapters. For, maybe we can cover two chapters only for today. Okay, I'm trying to do for three, but uh, I don't think we can do for three hours. Uh, sorry, three chapters for today. So we'll okay. just try to cover two chapters. And my questions for uh, the following week will all be within these chapters only. Okay. Okay, so the assignments are all within these chapters only. Lah. Okay. All right, okay. and then there'll be some or uh, one or two chapters which I feel that uh, because you have uh, advanced knowledge in computer science, uh, mm -hmm. you will be asked to read on your own and we will do some case studies of that. Okay, sure. All right, yeah. let me see. Uh, what else. Can you see the Excel part? 
Ah, uh, yes, yes. Excel box. Yeah, can you see? Not yet. I only can see the the timetable. Oh. All right, so I have to go back. Okay. Yes, you can see. Yeah. All right. So you will have uh, no final exam, so there's something good. Uh, <laughs> okay. You will have uh, assignments and case study, which is okay. 40, uh, which is forty percent. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you will have one research. Uh, sorry, one uh, project proposal, which is thirty percent. Project okay. proposal. Project proposal, okay. which is six. Sorry, not thirty percent. Sixty percent. Okay. But then again, I might change this lah. Because I uh, for I understand for a part time to do a proposal is quite tricky, so I will mm -hmm. try to discuss with the management whether we can change this a bit and increase on the uh, assignment case study. Because based on my experience with uh, part time students, uh, I see no problem in uh, you doing assignments and case study. Yes, it, it's very much uh, easier for you. Yes. And uh, Lakesh, I would like to remind you. For mm -hmm. any assignment or any case study, both subjects, mm -hmm. what I'm looking for is not the textbook answer. Okay. Because you have experience in one year plus experience. Yes. So I am. I will give you questions. Yes, based okay. on the textbook, but I will not ask you theoretical questions. Yes. Okay. Yes, I understand. There will be some questions like, okay, what is SDR system development life cycle? Those questions, yes. But I will. I want the answer from you. From your work experience. Okay. That is what I'm looking for. All right. Even sure. if you have not, if you have joined the project, even better. Lah. That means you have mm. personal experience with, you know, uh, personal experience in a particular project. So that would be even better. But mm -hmm. if you don't have any personal experience or you're not in your office, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can get something from the internet or something that uh, explains that scenario. So that is what I'm looking for. I'm not okay. looking for any textbook answer because I know you can read the slides. I know you can find the textbook. Yes, I know all about that. But I want to see any some <coughs> some original case study that is your experience or maybe you say, okay, you don't have this experience in your company, but you get another, uh, another study from the internet. Let's say the same thing has happened in uh, Google before and it's out on the website. So you bring that and you try to explain about that, the same scenario. Okay. Okay. okay so so that is what i'm looking for because i know if i give you uh, uh what do you say textbook best mm -hmm. means it's quite easy when yes there will be one or two textbook uh what do you say uh textbook questions when you have mm -hmm. to memorize just a little bit but mostly i'm looking for case study answers uh, that means your uh, real life experience that is what i'm looking for okay okay sure so very much easier for you Okay, and then uh, at the end of the session, I will uh, download this uh, video and then I'll put it up. My, I will give you the link for the video, okay? So you okay. can refer to it later on. So now you are in KL, right? Like oh, sorry, okay. You are in KL at the moment? Ah, yes, yes. I'm so at my house. You are renting a house there or? Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm renting a room here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So you're alone in KL? Yes. <laughs> okay, good for you. All right. So, any questions before we start? Like, I've shown you uh, the assessment. Uh -huh. I've shown you the timetable. Anything? Yeah, you wanted to ask me? Ah, uh, no, doctor. Okay. Uh, Everything's uh, clear. Everything's clear. How, how many subjects are you taking this semester? Five semester. Uh, five subjects. Five Sorry. subjects. So two is with me. Another three. Um, taking research methodology system. I think system. Uh, uh, system development is yours. Uh, data management. Okay. Uh, project and change management. With uh, Dr. Samira? Anything with Dr. Samira? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. This same, I have no subject with him. Dr. Samira is the coordinator, am I right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so have you been taking any subjects with Dr. Samira during your undergraduate? Yes, yes, last semester I took with her. Oh, last semester you took with her. Okay, uh. okay. 
when when you did your undergraduate in USA, so you stayed in campus as well. Ah yes. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. How uh, how many students in one batch eh, normally for USA uh, degree? Ah, uh, if computer science means normally like for one batch, normally not more than ten. Oh, so little. <laughs> yes, yes. For oh. my batch, only five students. No, uh, a degree when I mean, mostly they focus on diploma or degree. Uh, USA. Ah, uh, both. But for our course, it's less lah, because they are more focused on pengajian Islam courses. I see. Ah, uh, for that sub, for that courses, yes, we have a lot of people. But for my course, normally below ten, not more than ten lah. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. So, uh, you have a bachelor of uh, computer science, bachelor of IT. What else do you have there? What, oh, uh, and what, USAS. Yeah. We have we have business, marketing, ah, uh, pengajian Islam, finance, education. Uh, so oh, quite a bit. Okay. Uh, uh. All right. Okay. So, uh, so we have done the introduction. We have yeah. explained about the uh, syllabus, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, how we are going to do our assessment, okay. So let us just go on uh, for the first chapter. Mm -hmm. Start the slide. Uh, I've already uploaded the slides on mm -hmm. the, uh, LMS, so later you can take it, okay. But okay. the slides are what 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 I will try to normally do is, I will keep the slides, um, the slides which I present. Today uh, now online, it's slightly different from the slides from the um, from the LMS. Uh, it's not so much difference. Why do I do that? Is because I want to keep you, <laughs> I want to keep you uh, engaged because so that you will not just read and you know there will be some slides, some extra points I put in the in my presentation. But okay. That, that you just have to uh, hang on lah, no problem. Okay. Okay. Let's go mm -hmm. on to the first chapter. Okay, can you see the overall slides? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm sure you have taken this subject or you have come across this subject during your undergraduate. So this uh, will yes. be a refreshing course for you and maybe uh, when you do it the second time, sometimes when you do it the second time, it's much more, uh, it will make sense as compared to the first time. Okay, so what we are doing in this semester is uh, we are going to learn about system analysis and design. Mm -hmm. So basically what the main objective of this whole course is to understand the process flow of how to develop and analyze how to design. And prior to designing, you have to analyze the system so that you can design it well. Okay, so the main objective of this whole course for this semester is what it is to analyze the process and to design the system okay so what do i mean by analyze the process is simply if you have a, 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 a manual process so you need to analyze the manual process and then you need to design a new technological process uh, a simple example let's say you do uh, student registration in, in uh, university Prior to having a system, students will fill out a form and will get signatures from the coordinator, from the lecturer, will look at the timetable to see which class or which uh, room is available. That was the manual. Okay. So when we transfer the manual to a computerized system, we have to first analyze the uh, steps. What does the student do first? What uh, table does he refer to? Or who does who the student sees to get the form signed up? So that is the flow. So first we analyze the flow. Okay, what is going from step one to step number ten? Who does the student see? Who does the student ask signature from? What does the student do? What is the data that is needed for the student to register for each subject? So this is uh, important information. Once we have analyzed this, we will design this. Okay. Once we have designed this, we will design it according to uh, according to uh, technology to come up with a new system. So this whole subject, okay, is all about analysis and design. Okay. So that is why we need a proposal from you at the end of the semester. You are going to propose something uh, 
uh, which was previously manual, now it's uh, it's now going on the system. Or you are going to propose something which is already in the system. Let's say the student registration now is already in the system. Okay, you have a system, but you are going to propose an upgrade of that. Oh, okay. Understand. Okay. That means last time you can only do probably for, uh, you can only add and drop, you cannot register, but now you have more functions. Okay. You can check uh, you can check your your Yuran Pengajian, you can check your class timetable, you can check class information, you can check lecturers' information. So these are additional uh, features available from the system. So you can propose that as well. Okay. So and then along the way in this subject, we are also going to understand what is IT. Mm. Because we always come across IT. I'm sure you have come across computer science first. Your bachelor mm -hmm. computer science. Uh, you have come across information system, the mm -hmm. word IS. You have also come across IT, information mm -hmm. technology. So these are the three words that always will come to your mind. <clears throat> so we are also going to look at how we are going to understand this, uh, these words as well. Okay. All right, you can see the chapters. Yes. Okay. Describe the impact. So we are going to see how does the IT impact. Okay. Later on, we'll cover the word IT itself. What does impact mean? Impact means what, what has changed? Manual to system. If manual, it takes about one hour for the student to register. Now with the system, the impact is much more shorter. Okay. Then you define system analyst and design and the role of the system analyst. So you as the system analyst, what is your role? Okay. In this subject, you have to change your mind. Uh, Lakesh, what are you working as? Software engineer. Software engineer. Okay. So in this subject, you have to change your role. You are now a system analyst. Okay. You are not an engineer. You are now a programmer. But you have to think like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a bit tricky. You have to think like an engineer, but you have to think like a programmer, but you are a system analyst. Mm -hmm. So what does a system analyst do is to analyze the system. Yes. Okay. Now, we have a manual system. Mm -hmm. okay? So we have to analyze what is the features of this. So mm -hmm. that when we convert the manual system into a technological system, mm -hmm. nothing is replaced. Nothing mm -hmm. is changed but it's much more faster. So this is the job of a system analyst. Okay. In any IT project, you will always have a system analyst. A mm -hmm. system analyst can also be the project manager. Okay. Can also be the project manager, but mostly a system analyst is the one who understands from A to Z. Mm -hmm. to understand everything. Okay. He will draw everything and he will give it to the engineer, sorry, the software engineer to come up with the maybe uh, the object oriented feature and then the software engineer will give it to the uh, programmer for it to be developed. Okay, so this is how the process works. Okay, so we are going also going to define what is an information system and describe this component. What is the component of RIS? Explain how to use business profile and models. Explain internet, uh, internet business strategies and relationship including uh, B2C, business to commerce, or business to consumer, and B2B, business to business. So we are going to understand all of this within this chapter. All right. So identify various types of IS, explain, distinguish structural analysis, object-oriented analysis, agile methods. Explain waterfall. I'm sure you have heard about waterfall model. Any computer science uh, students will say, Anything waterfall model. Anything final year project is waterfall model. Uh, have you done your final year project before in uh, uh, in your undergraduate? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, what do you do? What, what was your project about? Uh, I create a system, uh, a blood management system. Uh, what a blood management system? Yes. Uh, it actually like how uh, doctor explaining now. It's like uh, we are changing the way of registering as a donor. 
by by before this we use uh, we will use the what the form right so i create a system to keep all the details for registration and the no, the donors detail uh, and uh, something like that web base yes okay so the same thing okay so mm. you just discussed okay thank you see mm. very very simple okay all right so we are going to discuss the role of it department Okay, mm -hmm. so now you have to imagine again, you are, you are now the system analyst and mm -hmm. again, you are working in the IT department. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is the, uh, the what do you say, the idea of your thinking for this uh, course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are some benefits, lah. some benefits of how information helps company. So as you can see here, the top part here mm -hmm. talks only about information. There is no the there is no word of technology here. Mm -hmm. Yes. The down part here, the use of okay. ID is vital for organizational success. Okay. So this is very important. Increase productivity, deliver yeah. quality products and services, maintain customer loyalty, make sound decision. So why do we need this paragraph says why do we need information? Why do we need information? Let's go back to your example. Sorry, your uh, uh, project. Now, mm -hmm. project is now. You mm -hmm. are doing a blood donation. Uh, you are doing a system for blood donation. Mm -hmm. So, why was it so important? Because you say, uh, yeah, they, they did it uh, manually. They did it uh, previously. They did it manually. But then you go into detail. Mm -hmm. Why was it so important mm -hmm. for you to develop mm -hmm. that system? You could have developed any other system, but yes. you chose to develop that system. So one main reason you can say is probably when you have the manual system, okay. and let's say there is a need for you to find a person. Let's say uh, I have delivered, uh, I have donated, but you want to find out the management wants to find out mm -hmm. how many times have I donated. Yes, they have to go back to the manual records. But now, with this information, this yes. system, mm -hmm. they can just do a search and find out, oh, uh, this patient's name Imran, he has uh, donated five times this year. Yes, correct. So that is one way, that's, how they, that's why they use the word information. Why do you need information? So information increases productivity. Correct. Increases, uh, delivers uh, quality products. So we use information, we need information to increase our productivity. So how do we use this information? We use technology to help us use this information. So your system is what we say the technology and the information was there. So we use this technology to help us get more information. For example, Google. Google can be said as a technology. So you use this technology to help you get more information. Okay. Previously, if you do not, let's say we don't have Google lab, what do you do? You go manually to the library, you open up books, you read, you read, you read, you get some ideas, you put it down and then you, uh, you give up your ideas. But now we use technology to help us make, make things faster. Meaning to say, you just go to Google, you go to Google Scholar, you search, or you go to Google Books, you search, and automatically you get some answers, information. Okay? So that is what uh, one main reason as to why information is important. Okay. So IT combines hardware and software products and services to manage, access, and communicate and share information. So this is what it means by IT. All right? So you combine your hardware, you combine software, and you combine the services used to manage, access, communicate, and share information. So in IT, you must always remember you are able to manage, access, communicate, and share. Four main important things. If you are not able to manage, access, communicate, and share, that means it's not an IT project. So how do you mean by manage? That means there is someone actually managing the information going in and out, and anyone who needs information can access that. Okay. Communicate. That means you can communicate with the system. Okay. We just put your project inside here. 
Mm. Manage your blood donation. That means there's an admin. If there's a new feature, he he administers that. Mm -hmm. You can access the patient's information. Mm -hmm. You can communicate with the system. How do you communicate? You can do a control F search. You can uh, update. You can delete. delete. You, you can communicate with the system. Yes. And you can share whatever information that you get to somebody else. Let's say a person comes to you, a doctor comes to you and say, uh, can, I found, uh, can I find out uh, in this month how many patients has, uh, has donated blood type A? So you can find in that system. Yes. You can share this information to uh, the doctors. So again, IT has four main, uh, what do you say, main uh, objectives to manage, access, communicate and share. You have to remember this. Okay. Manage, access, communicate and share. If these four uh, uh, features are available, then we say it's an IT system or an IT project. You're able to manage, access, communicate and share. Four things. Okay. So over time, IT has changed. Okay, over time, IT has changed. As you can see in this picture, you used to have a punch card system. Now we have all electronic uh, clock in, clock out. Okay, now you have systems like uh, you can use your phone to you can use use your handphone to clock in, clock out, and so on. Okay, all right. Step by step process for developing high quality information system. So, what is information technology? Okay. So, inside information technology, you have a, uh, you have something called system analysis and design. So, system analysis and design is a step by step process for developing high quality IS. So, what is IS? Block? Combination of technology, people, data. As you can see here. The main difference between IT and IS is one thing. When you use people here. Okay, when you use people here. IT does not have people. IT is just a system. You can access, you can share, you can communicate, you can manage that IT. But when you involve a people here, a person here, a human here, then you are going for IS. So you are combining technology, people and data then you say you have uh, IS. So the study of IS looks at how you and me access the system. Okay, so if you read a lot of papers about uh, research on information system, you will see that IS people, information system people, look at how humans use a system. Okay, how humans use system. Do they like it? Do they not like it? How many times in a day they use? How many times in a week they use? Uh, what is the frequency of usage? Do they like it? What happens if they don't use it? Okay, these are the things we understand. Okay, so system analysis and design, we do a step-by-step -step process for developing high quality. High quality means go back to the IT. You should be able to manage, access, communicate, and share. This is what we are looking. Okay, so what do you do? A system, what does a system analyst do? Plan, develop, maintain, manage resources, manage tasks, conduct meetings, and this more you lah. Okay, so this is what you do. So can we say a system analyst is a project manager? Yes, we can also say that. But some companies put it separately, also possible. Okay, so it's both ways. Either you can be a system analyst, can be a project manager, or a project manager is a, a different by itself. Also possible. Because sometimes you have one project manager handling a few projects. Okay, there are two different styles. Are you okay there, Akash? Yes, okay, doctor. Focus the day, Hitcher. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know. Ah, eh? oh, okay, sure, sure, doctor. You, you don't go back to your kampong uh, weekend? Uh, uh, normally, I will go once a month only. So this Chinese year, what are you doing? I will be, I will go. I will go on Monday. Oh, Monday. After work, yes. How many days you have? Oh, one week leave? Uh, I took one week leave because my sister is getting married. Oh. Next, okay. uh, next Sunday. Oh, congratulations in uh, mm -hmm. typing. Yes, typing. Oh, congratulations. So mm -hmm. we will see. Maybe the following year will be your turn. 
<laughs> yes. Hopefully, inshallah. Okay, so so we have learned now IT. Okay, IT are the four components. You are able to share, manage, access, communicate. Okay, set aside. Then we have learned about IS. Whenever you see a people involved, there is IS. So if people ask you what is the difference between IS and IT, so you'll be able to explain. IS calling center is when a person uses you and me uses the PC, uses the system. Sorry, IT can only do four things. So that is it. Okay. All right. Itu I belum masuk lagi. What is computer science? Computer science is another uh, section by itself. Ah. Okay. IS components, set of related components that produces specific results. So in IS, you produce specific results. You have inputs from hardware, software, data, process, people. Okay. So in IS component, okay, since we are saying people use system, so we have, uh, what do you say? We have set of inputs, either it's an input from a hardware, software, data, process, or people. Okay. So as you can see here, these are all inputs for a system. So in other words, yang hijau ini, the green one here, is the IT. IT, eh? The blue section is the IS because it's connecting to this green thing. So, example, how is hardware connected to a system? Example, if you go to the supermarket, the barcode reader, that's a hardware. You scan uh, barang, you scan your item, the item appears. Hardware to system. So that is one. Next one, software. What is the software to system? Yeah, uh, the one that you have developed, uh, blood, uh, uh, blood system. So it's a software, but it also has a hardware inside. Uh, sorry, it's a, uh, uh, sorry, it's a system inside. Data is what you put in. Okay? You type in information. Then you what lah? You type in all the blood donations, the username, password, sorry, the, the, the patient details. Process is what the system does. Like for example, uh, the barcode reader. You go to the supermarket, they scan the items, pop, they scan the items, items appear, pop, item appears. When they are finished, they press the button, total is calculated. A process is being done. But what actually is happening is, if you uh, if you don't know, Bila you scan, bila when they scan the items in the Speedmart or Mindin or Tesco, at the same time in their warehouse, minus one item. That means you go to the system, to the counter, you buy one can of Milo. When the cashier scans the Milo, pop, item appears on the screen and item comes out, okay, Milo, $15. But actually, in their system, in their warehouse system, Milo tin minus one. So, at the end of the month, they will just print that, see how many Milo tins are there left. So, that's the system. And the people using the system. So, these are components of the uh, items. If you have any questions, ask me. Eh? I think, oh, you muka with the data. Okay. So we have hardware, software, these are all IS components. Uh, hardware ni lah. Okay, hardware, these are the hardware. Have you seen a server farm before? Make sure you, I'm sure yes, your, yes. Office, your office has a server farm. Eh? Mm. You know what the, why did they call a farm? Eh? Mm. It's just a, a name lah given. It's like a kandak lah. All the servers are there <laughs> in one place. That's why yes. it's called a server farm. Okay. Uh, and the icon is very very cold. Yes. And, and uh, below here, at the uh, near the flooring there, there's mm -hmm. all the fiber wire and all the electronics down there. Okay. Okay. So that is uh, hardware. And we also have software. Lah. Either you have an application software. Application software is a software that there's only one application. Uh, horizontal and vertical. Horizontal software is uh, how do I say a horizontal software? A horizontal software, it's like it's connected to one software after another software, tetapi it comes from different companies. Example, uh, you go to JNT, 
you 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 send your item courier, and then you get the uh, you get the what the barcode sorry the serial number kan tracking number, okay that tracking number you boleh masuk dalam your web base and you can check where is the item, and you can do the, there's also another website called tracking.com. You can put the uh, the same uh, what you say the same JNT number kan, but two different systems. So those are called horizontal systems. That means you can take a uh, output from another system, masuk kan kat sini tu, boleh, no problem. Okay, that is how it works. Okay, a vertical system is like a system by that company alone. A uh, horizontal system, contohnya macam do it, uh, do it, do it now. Have you seen the do it now? D U I T N O W. The, yes, yes. The In the bank one. Uh. Yeah, the QR code. Mm, yes. Do you, do you know that if you go to any restaurants, kalau dia tulis do it now, you mm -hmm. can use any e-wallet and they can snap. Yes. So do it, uh, do it now is what we say is a horizontal system because it's the same thing can be applied to anything. Mm -hmm. You can use your touch and go pop, item appears. You can use your grab pay pop, item appears. You can use your boost, also appears. Previously, you only, kalau dikata touch and go, touch and go. But now the same QR code can be applied to everything. So that's what we say is a horizontal system. A vertical system is a system only for that company only. That means it's, it's unique by itself. Touch and go, unique, grab, unique, push, unique. Okay. A legacy system is system bululula, old system. Example of a legacy system. Huh? Can you give me a system young? It's a very old system. That you have been using it for the last 10 years. Everyone has been using it. A legacy system. A legacy system. Uh, it's, it's an old system. It, maybe we can say the post office system. Mm -hmm. yeah, post, post, office. Office, post office system is a legacy system. It has been there since saya pun tak tahu berapa lama. But mm -hmm. it has been there lah. Very, very long system. Okay? Very long system. <laughs> data process people. What is data? These are data. Apa tu? City. Uh, pay period, hours worked, these are data. Data is something stored in a table. Data does not mean anything. But combination of data means something. Okay, example. Eh? If you give me a data about patient's blood, A, patient name Ali, age 26, each blood type A is one data, H26 is another data, patient name Ali is another data. So you have three data here. Data does not mean anything. Tidak membawa sebarang maksud. But combination of data means an information. Example, in your class, let's say there are 50 people. Student number one, Kelantan. Student number two, Perak. Student number three, Kedah. Student number four, so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. So on, so on. That does not mean anything. But if I were to collective, I can get information. Oh, I know there are 20 students from Kedah. Information. There are five students from Perak. There are three students from Taipei. These are information. So what do I do with this information? I gabungkan this information, I get knowledge. Oh, from now I know in my class there are 20 students from uh, Penang. So maybe kalau balik kampung, if I were to do a, a bus service for 20 students, memang untung. That is knowledge. I get something new. I speculate. So this is how you do uh, knowledge. Okay. So data dalam information system is the the data you save inside your table. So these are data: patient name, patient number, uh, patient age. These are all information. Again, this information does not bring anything. 
It's just in sorry, this data, I repeat, eh? this data does not bring anything. If you tell me, Lakesh, okay, I only say that. That is data to me. But if you put this information, this data, Lakesh typing, you sus. So I have three data. But if you combine this data, then I get, oh, I know Lakesh is from typing and she studies in USAS. Mm -hmm. This is information. Okay? All right. So you take this data and you process it. You process it and you get some information out of it. And who are the people? People are use people are those people interested in using the system. So people it can be human, you and me, or it can be another system, another software, boleh, macam -macam boleh. So these are the people who actually uses the system. Okay. Now, in this current age, we are influenced by globalization, we are influenced by technology. So most of the system are internet centric. So their system or application built are designed for the web. Kalau, maybe we can change this a bit, not only web, mobile base. Kan? Sekarang ni, as you can see, I'm sure you agree with me, everything is mobile base. Everything is an app. You want to book your hotel, there's an app. You want to uh, order food, there's an app. You want to buy uh, movie tickets, there's an app. You know, hari tu, uh, Lakesh, I was invited for this wedding. And it's also an app. There's no much of a cut. And this app is very interesting. It's web based, it's very interesting. They tell you uh, the wedding is in so and so. If you're coming, yes or no. So you can yes. Lah. Yes, yes. And then, and then there's another one wedding present. Yes. How much do you want to give? $10, $50 <laughs> more, the harder. You just press bank transfer, muscle account here. Yes. Right. Easy. I mean, I think it's very easy, like very. Uh, convenient lah. That means you just go to the wedding, you don't have to buy a present, or you don't have to find an envelope, you don't have to bring money, you transfer do it siap siap je. Even if you're not going, okay lah. Let's say you cannot go, you cannot go, you press the button, you cannot go, but you transfer some money. Tapi the, the only uh, setback is the money tu, dia dah define kat situ. $10, $20. Yes. <laughs> it is already defined kat situ. And there's also the, if you cannot attend the wedding, there's also the web link. So on that, uh, on that specific date, live feed will come up. It's oh. all there already. So these days, you don't have to be like, I don't see the necessity of having a wedding card anymore. Yes. You know, everything is here. And, and now with my Sejahtera, everyone, I, almost everyone uh, has a mobile phone. Tapi ada juga lah yang tak ada. But almost everyone has a mobile phone. And you cannot go anywhere without your mobile phone. I'm sure you agree with me like it. Yes. A wallet tinggal tak apa? Tak apa, correct. Ha, wallet tinggal boleh lagi. You boleh can lagi. survive. Because now with macam Maybank, I remember leaving my wallet. You can, there's also a way to take out money from your account without your ATM card. Ada cara yes, ni. yes. Ha. Uh, and then you can pay through e-wallet. Wallet, e yes. Semua boleh. I know so many things, no problem dah. Okay, so all the systems now are internet centric or Internet centric or mobile based. Mm -hmm. Anything is mobile based. Okay? Anything is mobile based. Alright. So now, what is the internet model? So now, since we got okay, now the systems are all based on internet or uh, internet centric, we have to use the model. Lah. We have to build the system according to the internet. So the internet works, kalau you, you push this aside, the internet works that uh, you have the web page for your Google. You type something, it's connected to the server, mm -hmm. Charlie and database, and then they get info. So that is the, the picture. So you have to build your system accordingly. I'm sure when you build the uh, blood system, you have the front end, you have yes. the database, and then you have the, the, the process back, back, end, back end here. So that is the internet model. Lah. So you have to use that in order for you to build the system now. And mobile mobile phone sama juga we use the uh, application. Alright, so we build systems uh, either to business to customer or business to business. Contohnya macam Shopee, Lazada, that is business to customer. Uh, Alipay, itu semua, eBay, that is business to business. That means you buy in bulk. Okay. Alright. So 
Okay, so these are some modeling business operation before you start any uh, analyzing any business process. You first have to understand their business profile. What does that specific company do? So what you not what such a system you are want to you want to make a system or you want to develop a system for a particular company. So you have to understand what is their business profile. What does the company do? Okay, so. You, you can just go back to your project as well, blood donation. So, uh, what do you want to do? Why do you want to do? Okay, so these are important questions that you need to uh, answer before developing the system. Okay, business process. So, you need to understand what is the business process. Meaning, are they going to use the system tiap tiap hari, or every month, or every day, or weekly? And the report to the need it daily, ke, monthly, ke, weekly. Ke. So you have to understand this process. Example, kalau you, if you see uh, Maxis, for example, they have a system or they can only generate the bill at the end of the month. And bukannya tiap hari. That means hari ni you buat phone call, you tak akan dapat bill yet. You see the bill at the end of the month. Sama juga if you are using e-wallet. E-wallet, kalau you guna touch and go and e-wallet, when you pass the toll, okay, hari yang sama, you check your e-wallet, dia tak ada keluar. It's not there yet. The next day baru keluar. So, it's not daily, but it's weekly, sorry, it's not daily, but it's after 24 hours or 48 hours. Okay, it's done like that. Okay, so, before you start, uh, what do you say, <coughs> developing, so these are examples of process that you can go through lah. Okay, so you go through what you say as event, what you what use case lah, kan, based on events, scenarios. Okay, kalau customer tu terima order, apa yang dia buat? Okay, first they can check customer tu, is it valid ke tak, and then check the credit, and then enter data. Example, kalau you terima order from customer, you are now in a, let's say, warehouse. So the customer wants to buy 10 boxes of certain item. So he gives you the order. So first you check status there. Customer ni valid ke tak? Status there. Then you check the credit there. Okay tak? Boleh lepas jadu hutang tu lagi tak? Okay. You see, uh, is there any problem ke tak? Okay, tak ada problem. Then you verify. Okay. Then you baru process. Sama juga, when, they, when you go to the hotel, when you check in, first they check are you the valid uh, customer? Saya minta your IC. Okay, betul. This is the person. Yang booking sama. Okay, cun. Now, the put aside. Now, they need to verify your credit. How do they do that? They minta deposit lah. Or they minta your credit card. Swipe. Okay. Then they put in your details inside. So, this is how a uh, scenario works. Okay. So, there are a few things that you can do uh, in a business information system. One is you can do a transaction processing system. That means you bought a system based on their transaction, based on the features. Kalau blood, <coughs> blood system dari tu. So input data is one function. Checking patient details is another function. Uh, search is another function. So you based on the transactions okay so you do the system based on transactions or kita namakan features you build a system based on the features so in this system untuk sales ni these are the uh, sorry these are the features one two three four five six these are the features all right next we can also use a uh, management information system ini yang a bit advanced how once we done the system how do you keep track of it? How do you manage it? Because you have the system. You want the system to be running 24 hours. You want the system to be run any part of the world. So that's why we use the RFID concept. High frequency RFID. I'm sure you have heard about RFID. I'm sure dengan dia punya sekarang tengah kecoh pakai RFID, right? So RFID uses a small barcode that is attached, not barcode lah, a radio frequency that is attached to the system so that we can know where the system is or what we can keep track of the object. In the dalam JNT berada, dalam CT link berada, DHL, courier service, all users uh, are refined. 
and all of this information will be fed into the database so that we can do knowledge management. What is knowledge management? Large database that allows users to find information uh, information by entering a keyword. Okay, so what does plus do with this? Such a good, what do you do with this? So they know how many cars pass through a toll gate every day. Berapa ramai yang keluar, berapa ramai yang masuk, how many users. Okay, all right. Next, we move on to what information users need. Okay, so before, again, before you start doing your process, you need to understand what do users need. So, but we do not want to build a system, but the user is not using it. Okay, there is no need for that information. Okay, example of a system yang tak pernah jadi is the TNB system. <coughs> you know, TNB has a mobile app. Okay, but that system did not take off. So, but users did not need to know information. Okay, that information was not particularly useful. So, but the information also appears in the uh, receipt no, on the bill. So there was no new information. So these are certain things that you need to understand before developing the system. <coughs> okay, we will stop here for a few minutes. Okay, we will stop here. And uh, we will continue back in, uh, let's say, 10, 10. It's already 10, right? Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. We will uh, uh, continue back at 10, 20. Okay, 10. Okay. Oh, sorry. 10, 22. I'll give you 10 minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, 10, 22, eh? Okay, I'll see you back at 10, 22.
Can you right. hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. okay, you had a break? Ah, oh, sorry? Do you have a break? Ah, yes, yes. Okay. Can Why you I see me? Yeah, yeah, I can see you, Lauren. I can see you, no problem. I only see you, your muka so today. Right? Is there anything wrong? <laughs> no, I'm okay. okay. Have you registered for all your courses? Oh, uh, yes, already. Okay, all done. Eh? So, no mm. issues. Right? Okay. So, your batch, you're the only one in your batch? Mm, yes. Wait, um, uh, 10 of you in one batch last time. So, where are, we, where are all of them? Uh, some of them are just at home. Okay. Some of them already continue master. My another friend lah, uh, continue master at UC. Mm -hmm. And I, while working, I continue master lah. Other all just uh, working, like at home lah. They are doing like small businesses and something like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But only two of you continue your master's lah. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, okay. All of you have, I mean, uh, come from, uh, I mean, you did your diploma. You did your diploma, you say, in JB. Mm. Or where was that? Or what college was that? Uh, you know, College Perdagangan Johor Baru. Oh, it's no. actually Technic School. Uh. Oh, technic School? Ah, uh, I I did uh DVM Diploma uh Kemahiran Malaysia. Oh, okay, 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 mm -hmm. okay. That one you have SPM right, or you don't have SPM? Ah, uh, I have. Uh, we will do the Sejarah and BM. Oh, okay. Sejarah BM. What do you mean Sejarah and BM? Ah, uh, for SPM standard lah, because. And uh, that, that time I joined the technic school, it was new for me, right? So they said uh, we need to take the SPM for uh, BM and Sejarah. Mm. So I will be having two certificates. One is under Sijil Kemahiran Malaysia. At the same time, I will have uh, SPM, oh. something like that. So SPM, how many subjects you took in, the, uh, in total? 10, 10. Oh, 10 subjects. That means you, st you still take the normal SPM, lah. Ah, yes, yes. Oh, and then you still, you come out of the school in 17, right? No, 18. 17. For, uh, come out from the school. Yeah, how, how old were you then when you came out from the school? SPM, you do in 17 years old. Ah, uh, 17. Then, uh, diploma, 2 years. So, uh, at 19, I complete my, my, my uh, uh, diploma. In the same uh, college? Ah, uh, yes. They continue. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, so you went from... From Pera to Johor, oh, that's quite a... Mm, last time my parents all was at Johor. Oh, okay, okay. So mm. okay. Alright, okay. Okay, so now let's continue um, syllabus. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So, what information do users need? So when you develop a system, okay, mm -hmm. uh, you need to understand because you have so many users. They are uh, customers. They can be management. They can be knowledge people. So you need to understand who needs what. Mm -hmm. Like the manager needs to see the overall uh, sales. That means the, the manager does not need to know the day to day sales. I mean, in one day, how many? So, on. but he just needs to know in summary how much of things has been sold or mm -hmm. how much of uh, items is left. So, that is what he needs. Okay. But the mm -hmm. lower people, they don't need to know the overall, but they just need to know that the transaction is being done. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, you take the cashier at the Tesco outlet. When the cashier scans the item, he or she does not know what is the total number of items left. He does not. He just needs to know once I scan the item, the item appears on the screen. It goes higher. Okay. But the management, they need to look at something different. So it's important when you do your system analysis and design, you need to know which user needs what information. That is very much important. So each users need different types of information. Kalau mm. the top management needs something else, the middle management needs something else, the supervisor needs something else, the operational employee needs something else. Mm -hmm. Like you are doing your use case in your office. Okay? Mm. So your boss tells you this information. 
So he, yes. he, he only gives you what you need to know only. But how much is the project costing and how much or how long is the project or maybe other information which he thinks you are not, I mean, he, it's not valuable to you, he does not give it to you. Mm -hmm. He only tells you, okay, Lakesh, you do this. I want to see this use case diagram from this customer point of view, from this system, from this system, that's it. Okay, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so you are the you are the employee, so you need to understand that bit only. So you need to know how much of information you need. Okay. Next, you have this, you are going to model the system. So inside the system analysis and design, we use several tools. We can use several tools. So tools are what we say as uh, something to help us, like, something to help us, uh, like a software, you know, you can draw. Some people like to draw. So in uh, system analysis and design, we use modeling tools. So like mm -hmm. use case is also a modeling tool. You can use that. Uh, Microsoft Visio, have you heard of Microsoft Visio? Microsoft of? Visio, Visio. Uh, v, I, oh, this one, Microsoft Visio, this one here. No, no, I never used this before. Okay, this is also a uh, development tool whereby you just drag oh. and drop. Okay, uh, okay. You just drag and drop only. Say you're doing payroll, you just drag and drop. So this is how. And then this one means the information from here goes here, goes here, goes here. You can take like a use case diagram, but mm. only in, in Microsoft uh, symbols. So it's called Microsoft Visio. Okay, mm. so, yeah. So you have to do the business model. That means from the time that, uh, the, the, let's say we're doing a system for, for Tesco, from the time the barang sampai in the warehouse, right up to the items go up the shelf, where does the thing happen? So the item comes in, somebody records it, puts it inside the system, and then susun in the shelf, and so on and so forth. Okay? So these are the things. Okay, so this is some modeling technique. Okay, next, once you have built the system, you can also do a prototype. I'm sure you understand what's a prototype. A prototype is a running, uh, what you say, a running system, but it's not a final system. It's just uh, to show that the system is working. Uh, it's just, uh, just to make sure that everything is understood. It's just a prototype. It's not a final one yet. Okay, it's not a final one yet. Uh, next, we can also use computer-aided uh, system engineering, or we say as a case tool. Mm. Okay. This is a uh, case tool. Uh, it's also some sort like a tool, but more to system engineering, software engineering. Uh, we want to show what items has been passed. That means in order for the system to work, what does the system need? They need a tracking number, they need the IC, uh, IC, and so on and so forth. Okay, so in system development methods, there are three development methods. Structured analysis, object-oriented, and agile. Let's go to agile. Have you heard of agile? Have you done yes. agile? Agile is, I think, the very fast. What yes. you do is, they go and meet the client, they get the input, they come back, they work on it, they do a prototype, tomorrow or next week, they go and see the client. Okay, is this what you want? Okay, yes, correct, okay. They get a new info, they build and continue, 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 very fast. Mm -hmm. If a normal system development life cycle takes about, let's say, six months, a agile development method takes about only three months. It's half the time. Okay, half the time. Okay, let's do a st structure. Uh, ini paling sedang lah. Structure analysis. SDLC. Uh, SDLC. I'm sure you have heard of this system development life cycle. I'm sure. Uh, in your FYP project last semester, uh, in your undergraduate, all 10 of you use system development life cycle. Mm -hmm. All my students until today, they use system development life cycle. It's mm -hmm. the most simplest one. For me, I use Agile. Oh, you use Agile. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's read this. Sir. So in structured development, uh, sorry, structured analysis, we use uh, system development life cycle mm -hmm. and we do it on predictive. That means we predict what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, or, or we do it like this. We use the process. Huh? Okay, let's mm -hmm. look at this. Mm -hmm. This is the system. Tengah-tengah Registration mm -hmm. students. This, you know this uh, diagram? This is the database. 
Ah, uh, yes. Database, database, database. So this database, from this database, you get the student Same. info, yes. and mm. courses, and uh, once the student are registered, you go to and class. Mm. class yeah. So that means, let's say Dr. Samira Kata, she wants to include more courses, mm -hmm. her job will be to only go here. Yes. Uh, for your case, finance, once finance has said, okay, they will update this table. Only mm. then, Takesh, you are here, you mm. can update the system, sorry, you can register on the system. So that's why we say in system analysis and design, mm -hmm. one system is actually a combination of a few processes. Mm -hmm. Courses is here. Dr. Mm -hmm. Samira is here. She cannot go and register for you here. Yes, her, right. She can only do it here. She can register mm -hmm. the course. Mm -hmm. She can also, she cannot also go to the student registration. She cannot make that happen. It took finance with the job. Finance has to give you clearance, only then you can do it. Okay? And then student can register inside. If you need. Alright? So this is a simple system development life cycle. Alright? So there are a few uh, pictures now of how you say system development life cycle, but this is one of them. So you start with planning, uh, analysis, design implementation and system support or we say maintenance lah. okay so it's like a waterfall. waterfall this is the most simple that means once you first you plan the part you the plan you analyze the requirements then you uh, design the system then you test the system you put functional tests uh, usability tests uh, okay that is called the uh, implementation. All right. Next, you want to uh, fully operationalize. You do the uh, support and uh, or maintenance. Uh, let me test it. Okay. So the nila simple lah, very simple. Let me do this design implementation. Okay. Object oriented. Uh, yang ini is quite tricky lah. Okay. Uh, yang ini, it, it, it looks at the objects and class. You pernah buat programming, yeah? So, you know objects Benar -benar. and class. Yes. So, you know objects and class. So, <clears throat> in this uh, design, we are looking at how to combine each function using object-oriented analysis. So, meaning to say we are using our objects and our class how to combine it. So, there are inherent properties. Kalau you masih ingat lagi in programming, how one object inherits another one. Uh, class. Class name, instructor, object name, address. These are all objects. But this object gets the information from, it inherits the function from student. Okay? So, this is another way. Tapi normally, we use this object-oriented analysis inside your programming section. Okay, so normally when you do uh, software engineering, you will always use this method of your oriented uh, analysis. Right. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, uh, agile method, yang you suka lah. Very fast, very fast. Spiral, it based on, it based on feedbacks. So once you finish, you do a new one. Once you finish, you do a new one. Tapi it takes, uh, it's fast, it's very fast. Uh, but it's tiring, but it, it can be done very fast. You don't have to wait until one, uh, you don't have to wait once the planning is finished. Not that. What? Any information you get, you throw spot. Throw spot. Throw spot. Okay? If LC, like I said, it's not, if LC, SDLC takes about six months, but you can do it within three months. Okay? So, again, there are certain, uh, yeah, there are certain weaknesses of that, but that's not an important thing, okay? Uh, yeah, there are certain uh, risks involved if you're doing uh, Agile, because the thing is very, very fast, but it can be done. Okay, uh, we can also look at rapid application development under Agile, yes, but almost the same, uh, whereby you do the prototype in a very, very fast manner, or joint application development, that means you break down the team. Okay, team number one, you do fact finding. Team number two, you do development. Pagi fact finding, pagi buat uh, go and see the client, get the information. Petang come back, 
team ni will tell the programming team, okay, this is what customer wants, now you do it. Okay, tomorrow, uh, fact finding, pergi cari information, and then come back to the team. So, divide the team. It is not like the whole team goes, but you divide according to your task. Okay, that is how you do. Um, uh, that is how you do, uh, you know, joint application development. Okay, so this is your IT development, uh, IT department. So, Lakesh, where are you here? I think application development. Application development. Yep. Mm -hmm. I also thought the same. Yep. You're Paul. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you are here. How is your networking skills? Sorry? Your networking. Do you know anything about networking? Mm, not so. Mm. Uh, database? Yes. So I'm sure you, uh, your your projects, you uh, do application development and you have a lot of database uh, issues. Yes. How many people are there in your company? Oh, I think more than eight hundred. It's oh. quite a big company. Oh, it's quite a big company. Yes, we do have uh, branches at Vietnam, China. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a Malaysian based company or? Yes. Oh, it's a big, uh, what is it called again? Info Pros and Rambrahat. It's actually a banking uh, system provider, service oh. provider. Uh, who are your customers? Which banks are your customers? Uh, SMEC at Cambodia. Uh, that one only I know <laughs> because it's under my project. Oh, okay. Oh, overseas banking. Eh? Yes. Oh, it, oh, it's a big, uh, oh, that's, hmm. so... Oh, that means you're working in a... So you have offices around the... You have offices in Malaysia, you have offices overseas. Yes, yes, well. yes, we have. We have developers. We are actually combining the, because some of my... I have colleagues who are from uh, Vietnam. I also have a colleague from India also. Uh, we are working together in this company. Okay, when you did uh, work from home and you... and How do you work from home? Uh, we have, uh, normally we have laptop, right? So there we, we have the control, the server control. Okay. So we normally log in okay. using the server control to access to the system. Lah, because all the system have a uh, security wise, right? Uh, so like that, lah, we will do. Then normally if we will, I will get a task based on, they will give me the use cases specs. So based on the specs, I will develop the front hand and back hand for that use cases. So after that, we will demo the use cases to the management and they will correct us in case we need to add any enhancement or something else. Then if that okay means, that means the, that part of use case is completed. So we will get to continue the next use case. Uh, because we have uh, more than a few modules like deposit modules, uh, GL, something like that. So each of modules got more use cases. So yeah, we will do that. So that means your uh, lucky you do one use case, mm. your Vietnam will do one use case. Yes. Okay. Mm. And then uh, your once you have done your use case, you mm. present to your project manager, and then mm. he says okay. So mm. that use case where does it go? Uh, it uh they will send to test the QAA. So they will test the use cases. Uh, after the test, in case we need to, they have any error or bugs, we need to fix that. After that, it they will uh what we will deploy to the system so user can start use that uh, use cases so we will get feedback from the user either the use cases is user friendly or we have any bugs in case they have any bugs we will come back to us to uh what uh, what do the announcements lah? uh how do you develop your use case we are using cuba platform java java base uh, okay mm. so not only you develop your use case you actually test your use case, yes? Yes, yes. Oh, we will. Right. Oh, because I was thinking you only design and then some people will put in the code. So it means, like you design, not only you design, you put in the codes as well. Yes, correct. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. Okay, okay. And then once your project manager is okay, then he gives it to the tester pula. So mm. the tester test it. If any bugs, return mm. back. If not, go on lah. Mm, yes. So, how many functions have you worked on? I think, I don't know, but it's a lot. 
So every month, every week, you have one function, lah. Uh, it's not like that. If uh, if they give the task, you can finish wa uh, as fast as uh possible, right? So they will proceed with the second use cases like that, lah. So normally I will take for one use cases. If it is the complex, at least I will take three days. If it's not complex, I can make it like in one day or two days. I will finish and I will submit. So programming <laughs> skills is very good, lah. Uh, before this, not. But after I join, I I improve myself, lah. Because we already already understand the framework, so most of the use cases we're using the same. Uh, how to say the same use cases only? How the same thing only? It's just the function will be different. But the way the front front hand will be very simple one because we are using the um, base one. We already have that framework, so we just keep on drag things only for the functions only. We need to add the uh, coding, lah. Okay. So it's a bit. Uh, for the back hand, we will take time, but for the front hand, we can finish it earlier. Okay, good for you. Mm -hmm. Good for yes. you. But I'm very proud of you because you have got <laughs> a job during this pandemic, and uh, I see that you understand what you're doing. Mm, yes. That, yes. That's the most important thing. You understand what you're doing uh, uh -huh. because it's not easy to understand what you're doing and not easy to uh, do because most of you are working. And then you say you have uh, team members from outside Malaysia mm. as well. So mm. and all of you are working in one particular project, lah. Yes, yes. So mm. That's another thing. Okay. All right. right. So that's good, lah. So mm. now you are under application. Maybe how many departments are there in your uh, uh, company? Uh, we have two. As I know, we have in my department is a uh, ICB ten. So we have e bank department where they will. Uh, focus on the banking side, uh, then management side, like that lah. Oh, okay. I that's think good. three or four departments. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, mm -hmm. let's continue. So, <clears throat> so information technology department. This is all the departments that you have lah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I'm sure you know this. All right. So these are additional. Oh, quality. I think this is where your testers are. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all your testers. Sometimes gram juga lah because you dah buat and then they say no, oh, it's not right. So mm. that's normal lah. I'm sure yeah. you have come, you have mm. come across this. Okay. Yes. So sister analyst. So this is a specific job. Mm -hmm. Investigate, analyzes, design, develop, install, evaluate, maintain companies. Certainly interacts with user and managers. Within and without, uh, uh, within and outside the organization. So this is one job. So it's a bit difficult, lah. So this is what you are doing. Probably your your project manager does this. He analyzes, he designs, he develops. Probably he does this. I don't, I'm not sure, lah. Uh, because sometimes, like I told you, they can separate this analyst, analyst, manager, manager. They can be one project manager for several projects. That means he can handle project A, B, C, and the analyst will just do everything. So that it can be that way as well. Okay. So analyst's role is to actually uh, design. So your role is to actually understand how the system works. Okay. So like now, your role is only to work on use cases. That's why you say. Over time, your skills build up. Last time you take three days. Now you can take one day. You know the framework in and out, in and out. You know your programming skill was uh, at five. Now it's already ten because you have been doing it over, over and over again, and it's almost the same thing. Let's say in uh, next year, you your company gets a new bank. Let's say a new bank, and it'll also be the same. It won't be much different, though, because bank is a bank. Yes. I mean, they, they, probably they will add new functions, but the framework is the same. Yes. So your skills will develop over time. Your skills mm. will develop over time, and maybe you can jump from being an application, uh, a software engineer. Now you can become a system analyst already, mm. because you are already you already understand how the banking system works, how the function works, how everything works. So now you just need to implement, or maybe you just need to. Uh, change certain functions only. So now yes. you know. Okay. Uh, maybe probably in a few years time you can also open up your own company because you already understand the thing. You know how things work. Okay. So this is how sister analysts do. All 
All right, and there are also certifications for seismic analysts. Uh, you can go for certifications and you, you can be recognized. Lah. Microsoft has one of them and a few other companies have a certification for project manager. Okay, let's look at the summary. We are coming to the end of this chapter. Okay, so IT combination of hardware and software. Okay, essential components of IS, software, hardware, data, process people. Okay, and if you go back to slides uh, about IT, if your IT system can assess, can share, can process, can manage, then you are IT. Okay, so if you are talking about components of IS, you are talking about hardware, software, data, process, and products. Uh, sorry, and process and people. Okay, so if in system analysts, the most important thing is to design, uh, to get, to work on the process and to come up with a system. All right. But in order for you to develop the system, then you give it to a different department. Lah. You give it to you, your programmers, your software engineers. But to understand the flow, you go to the system. Then you also, uh, we have also covered the topic about system analysis and design, how the process works. So these are also important. Okay, so I think that's the end of this chapter. Okay, the end of the chapter. All right, so I will leave you for now. Okay, we'll stop here for now. I will give you one short case study or one short assignment, but not today. Probably, uh, Lakesh, can you message me your email address? I will email to you. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, I will put it up on LMS. LMS, uh, yes. I will put it on LMS and once it's there, I will message you saying that the assignment is there and maybe you can start on that. Okay, doctor. Alright, so I will see you again in a few hours from now. Ke nanti. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. We will start about 8.15 like that. Lah. About 8.15 lah. Let's say start about 8.15. Okay. So your next class is what time, Lakesh, today? Uh, 2.30. 2.30. Okay. 2.30 to? 5. Or 4, 5.30, I think. Okay, all right. So good luck for your second class, and I'll okay. see you again tonight at uh, uh, eight fifteen lah. Uh, okay, doctor. In case you already upload the case study, miss, just let me know. So uh, okay. I will go to the LMS and do it. Okay, sure, sure, no problem. Okay. Okay. Thank you okay. so much. Doctor. Thank you. I'll see you at eight fifteen. Eh? Okay. Sure. Doctor. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.